Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlikened to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shapai, man. So, you know, Christians is bogged out. Christians don't understand the scriptures. Because if you did, this is a question that you really wouldn't need to ask, you know. The, the scriptures give you all the answers. The scriptures tell you where you going off, what, what what you need to be doing. You need to be trying to rehearse the righteous acts, the laws, statutes, commandments not done away with. Israel is a rebellious people. Like all of the answers about what you need to be doing is in the scriptures, man. The elders go into that all the time, man. When you get in, when you going through something, you dealing with something difficult, the Lord trying to tell you something. You need to pray. You need to ask, ask the Lord. You know, the Lord will tell you. But let's get into it, man. Let's get a couple of scriptures, man. Lord willing, I'll put this up. I'll put that meme up, you know, because the route that I probably go, another brother might not go that same route with it. Let's go this way first. Let's get Ezekiel. Chapter 2. Let's go Ezekiel 2 and let's start at 1, Ezekiel 2 and 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when I spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him, that he spoke unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are impudent children, a stiff hearted and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So the Lord sent, the Lord speak to his, to the, to the people through his prophets. And the, the message that the prophets are saying are that, hey, we all been going off, man. So really, do you really, the, the, the Lord, yeah, the Lord speaks to you. But do you want the Lord really to come single you out out of all the people in the world to come find you and have a personal conversation with you? Is that what you really want? <laughs> Be, is that really what you want? Six, thou, as, and thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Through briars and thorns be with thee. And thou doest well among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And thou shalt say, and, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Look, and thou shalt speak my words unto them. So, yeah, the, the, the Lord, yeah, the Lord tells you through the prophets. The prophets telling you what you should be doing. But y'all not listening. Y'all looking for God to speak to you directly. All right. <laughs> we going to see. We going to see if you want that. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. For they are most rebellious. But thou son of man, hear that I say unto thee, be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Yeah. And, and eat what? Eat this roll. And when I looked, behold, a, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book that was there, and and roll, a roll of a book was therein. The, the scriptures. 
Everything the Lord spoke, the Lord speaking to you, right here, here go to the Lord speaking to you. In the scriptures, through one of his men telling you what the Lord is saying. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations, mourning, and woes. So here go the Lord speaking to you right now. It's the Lord speaking to you. It's not me. The Spirit get the Spirit on me. Once you start um, doing a lesson, the, the, the Spirit take over and you end up going this way instead of that way. It's the Lord, man. Let's see now. Let's go Exodus 19. Let's go 19, Exodus 20 and... Let's go 17. Exodus 20 and 17. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his oxen, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Israelites, not, not, oh, it's in the Israelites. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they were moved and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not the Most High speak with us, lest we die. <laughs> yeah. So, so and this is back. This is back when the law was was directly dealing with Moses. And the nation of Israel could actually see the Most High's presence. And they didn't want the Lord. They didn't want to have no conversation with the Lord. So do you really want the Lord to come talk to you? The scriptures is right here. Things are written aforetime for our learning. There's the Lord's words right here, man. The Lord's words right here, man. Let's get it. Let's keep getting it. Don't want to make, try and make it not to, try not to make it too long. But let's get some more of the Lord speaking with people. <laughs> uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 15. The Lord thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken, according to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy power in Herod, Herob, yeah, Herob, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my power, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I die not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, do you want, do you want, do you want a personal conversation with the Lord? If you're not doing the right thing, if you're not doing the right thing, do you really want a personal conversation with the Lord? Let's get it. Numbers chapter 5 and, five and 12 and 5. And the Lord came down in a pillar of, cloud, pillar of a cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. So if the Lord dealing with you, the Lord going, the Lord going, going the, you wouldn't have to ask that question. The Lord will, the Lord will be dealing with you, and, and you would be doing what the Lord is telling you according to the scriptures. This is the guideline right here, man. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read, right? My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall be, shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against him, and he departed. Like I said, do you want the Lord to come down and be like, yo... Such and such, come out here. I want to talk to you. Do you really want that? How much this, how wicked this kingdom is, how wicked this place is, how wicked this society is. Do you really want the Lord to come knocking on your door? 
And the cloud and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. <laughs> and Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Yeah. So again, man, people people that done had personal conversations with the Lord, it usually ain't go well with them, man. That's why he sent his prophets, his men. Let me go back and look at that picture again. Do we hear? Do we hear from the Most High about ourselves? Do you hear about from the Lord about uh, the Lord about ourselves? Yeah, we sure do, man. In the scriptures, how we was a rebellious, hard-headed nation that didn't, never did the will of the Lord, and He always put it on us because of that, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Second Chronicles. Yeah, get a couple more. Let's go. Second Chronicles. Thirty-six. Second Chronicles 36 and 15. Yeah, 14. Moreover, all the chief of the priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abominations of the heathens and polluted the house of the Lord, which he have hollowed in Jerusalem. And the Lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers... And the Lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up be time and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Lord of the Most High and despised his words and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people Till they were till till there was no remedy, huh? This is the Lord speaking to you, man. This is the Lord telling you about yourself right here. Our people are stiff necked pers people, and you trying to uh, me personally, me personally, what? What you want the Lord to say to you personally? <laughs> what what conversation do you personally need the Lord to tell you about yourself? If you not doing the right thing, if you not living, if you outside the scriptures, you not understanding or whether you're an Israelite, what a heathen nation, you ain't going to get it anyway. You know what I mean? So a conversation with the heathen nation uh, or somebody of the heathen nation in the Lord, you won't get destroyed anyway. So if you're an Israelite and you not understanding that you're an Israelite and that two thirds of the nation of Israel going to die. That he that endureth to the end the same shall be saved. That you need to work out your salvation through fear and trembling. Give diligence to make thy calling and election sure. If you not understanding these things right here. The true names of the Lord, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. If you not understanding these things right here. What conversation can you expect to really have with the Lord? And how do you expect that conversation to go when you have it with the Lord? It's not going to be well. Hebrews chapter 1 and 1. The Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yeah. This is how the Lord speak to the people, the, the children of Israel. This is the, so, so, and not the, not Pastor Pork Chop and Deacon Bacon in the church, they, they're they not men of the Lord. They're not men of the Lord. They're not men of the Lord. They're not giving you what the scriptures say. They're giving you Christianity, man. They're giving you Christianity, which has really nothing to do with, with the scriptures, man. Matthew chapter 5, verse 12. Red letter, Yahweh Shah speak to. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yeah. This is what Israel did, man. The Lord speak to Israel by the men of the Lord, the prophets, his men. And Israel ain't trying to listen. Yeah. Yes. Amos 3 and 7. Israel ain't trying to listen. And that's a comment of a stiff-necked Israelite. If it's an Israelite, and if it's a heathen nation, well, somebody of a heathen nation, 
What do you expect? You expect them not to get it because it wasn't given to them to get. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, see? So the Lord revealed his, his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And the elect ladies, the elect sister, the 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 whole the sisters that's got the truth, that's that's righteous, and it, they they got got the understanding of what's going on in the scriptures. But if not, what kind? If you not, <laughs> if you not even on that track in the ballpark, what conversation you expect? What do you expect the Lord to tell you about yourself? You out here still eating. Um, shellfish, crabs, lobsters, pork, shrimp. You know, you you eating your steak bloody and all this. You doing all kinds of things that you don't supposed to be doing, living the life of the heathen, or uh, whatever the case may be. What conversation do you expect the Lord to have with you or to tell you about yourself? Luke 24 and 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Yeah. Yeah. You, the, the, uh, Yahweh Shah was the word made flesh. Not one jot, one tittle, right? Not one jot, one tittle shall be. Um, matter of fact, let's go back and get it. Let's go back and get it. So, yeah, so it's right here. All your answers is right here. Right here. Matthew chapter 5. But even this, the Christian church will tell you that the the um the, the, the law of statute of commandments is done away with. Think not, Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So no, he ain't going to be burning in hell forever. He shall be called the least of king, least called the least in the kingdom of heaven so he's going to make it to heaven if he's an Israelite he's going to make it to heaven but whoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven yeah the men that's telling you the, the, the truth of the scriptures man couple more we get out of here let me see how long I've been going 18 minutes okay we good we ain't, we ain't gone as long as I thought we was let's get some more Let's get a couple more there. Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets which testified against them to turn them to thee and they wrought great provocation. Yeah. This is what this is what Israel did, man. <laughs> this is what Israel did. Every time the Lord sent in his prophets to tell them what's going on. So the Lord been trying to speak to Israel for years, man. For years. This is why we ended up in the position that we ended up in. Because Israel ain't want to listen to the, the voice of the Lord, which is his prophets. Psalms chapter 81 and... 81 and 8, hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, hearken unto the voice of the prophets, man. Proverbs 1 and 24, let's get that one. Almost about to close out. 1 and 24. <laughs> Twenty one, she cried in the chief's place, place of con. With no twenty, 
Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her voice, her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my word, make known my words unto you. Right there. Do the prophets right now. Cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show, matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. So the Lord is speaking. Yes, just ain't listening, man. Or you listening to the wrong, you listening to the false prophets. Isaiah 48 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, the Lord is telling you. The Lord is speaking to you right now. <laughs> the Lord is speaking to you right now. 1 Peter 1 and 10. Let's get that. 1 Peter chapter 1 and 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesies of the grace that should come on you. The grace. So we are under grace right now. We're not under the second covenant. We are under grace. Searching what? Or what manner of time the spirit of Hamashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of anointed and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you, by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Rakakwadash, the, the Holy Spirit, understanding, sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Yeah. Okay, let's get what we gonna get next. Jeremiah, let's grab that one. Jeremiah 2 and 30. A couple more we close out. Jeremiah chapter 2 and 30. Twenty nine. Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, saith the Lord. Here go your your, your there go the Lord right there. Say listen to this one. Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, saith the Lord. So ahead telling you that, oh, they, they could keep all 100, 613 laws properly. Well, this scripture right here say otherwise, but that's another topic. In vain have I smitten your children. They receive no correction. Your own sword have devoured your, your own prophets like a destroying lion. Huh. <laughs> Right here. What else you need to see, man? What else you need to see, man? Let's get this one right here. Let's go. Matthew 23, 37. Right, what else you need to see? Yeah, the scripture's right here, man. Matthew chapter 23 and... Mm. Let's get it. 33. Ye serpents, ye generations of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in our synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth. From the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barak Barakas, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, 
All these things shall come upon this generation. So you need to ask yourself, man. If all these things, that, that's another indication of reincarnation. So you need to ask yourself, man. Was I one of them spirits in the past, man? Was I doing wicked? You know, do I need to get right? Not just for this past, because your spirit don't die. Your spirit lives, man. Comes back third, fourth generation. Matter of fact, we get that one. Let's get that one. Exodus 20 and 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, for I the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So we know it's talking about Israelites right here, because only Israelites could keep the commandments. So the third and fourth generation is when you come back, man. So you got to be mindful, man. Look at this. One. Let's go back to it. Matthew 30, 23 and 37. Old Jerusalem 36 again. Verily I say unto you, all things shall come upon this generation to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, right? All these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them, which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chicken under her wings, and ye would not. Yeah. So, yeah, you. what conversation you really expect the Lord to have with you? What do you expect to hear from God about yourself, man? If you're an Israelite, man, that we was going off, that we broke the covenant, that that's why we weren't in the captivity, that all of the prophets that were sent to us, for us, by the Lord, that we persecuted, that we turned our, our shoulder, we didn't want to hear, we didn't want to hearken to what they were saying, that's what you want to hear? And if you wanted them, how do you expect that conversation to go? So hopefully with this one, man, I hope, Lord willing, it was edifying. We're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders, to the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yasharala, and the Bible, Bible, Rock a Thumb family. Shalom.